Hi everyone, it's Sue from Moat, and in this episode of Moat for Students, we're gonna explore commenting. If your teacher leaves you a comment in either Google Docs, Slides, Sheets, or Classroom, you can listen to their voice. You can also send them a reaction, and in some instances, a reply with your voice. So in this episode, that's what we're gonna explore. Let's get started. If you have the extension installed, and someone has left you a Moat audio message using Google Docs, when you open up your Google Doc window, you'll see a card that appears over in the comment section. This card will indicate who your Moat audio message is from. It'll have a play button so that you can hear this message. Hi, Carol and Sue. I noticed that you guys did not elaborate on this question. An option to leave emoji feedback, saying that you understand or that you need more support. The ability to type your response, as you usually can. Or, again, if you have the extension installed, you'll see a purple button. You would click this button to record anywhere that you can leave a comment. Keep in mind that the first time that you use this button, a window might pop open asking for permission to access the microphone. To reply, I click the purple button. So sorry about that. Thanks for letting me know. Hit done and then simply hit reply. And my teacher will see a card, as long as they have the extension installed, they'll be able to hear my comment left back to them. If I decide I don't wanna leave it, I can just simply come right here and delete my comment. To create my own moat using comments and docs, I would just simply highlight some text, click on over here to add a comment, and with the extension installed, I'll see that purple button again. I chose this song because X, Y, Z. Hit done and hit comment. And the card will be attached to the text in my Google Doc. Right away, this looks a little different for anyone who doesn't have the extension installed. You'll still be able to hear the message that's left by your teacher or your classmate, but you'll have to click on this link, which will bring you to a web page where you can see who your moat is from, listen to the moat, Hey Bruce, it seems like you forgot to help. And leave emoji feedback if needed. Keep in mind that if the extension is not installed, you will only be able to reply with text. With the mode extension installed, commenting in slides is very similar to Docs. You can click here and reply using Moat. You can create your own Moat. If the extension is not installed and you're using it in commenting, you'll have your link, which will redirect you to hear the comment. In Sheets with the extension installed, you can see your card, listen to your message, and reply with Moat. And to create your own Moat, you would simply click on a cell, insert comment, and then click the button to record. I would check with George on this. If the extension is not installed, you would have the link to redirect you to hear the moat. Even in Google Classroom, if your teacher or classmate uses moat to send you a message, private or public, you'll be able to see the card, listen to the message, reply with text, or hit that purple button to send a response. Thank you so much for that feedback. If the extension is not installed, you'll have the link that will redirect you to hear the message and respond with an emoji if you'd like. Our next video will explain what this purple button is in Google Slides.